Hey guys, and welcome back to DG Outdoors. Just getting this uh, Heritage 22 revolver loaded up, little six shot revolver here. And uh, we're gonna do some shooting today. Haven't done a real gun review in a while. And uh, I just bought this at Academy. Picked a perfect time to do it because we've got a 22 ammo shortage, but I'm sitting on quite a few rounds at home, so we're okay. I'm gonna be shooting two types of bullets today. We're gonna be shooting the uh, Remington Thunderbolts and we're gonna be shooting um, some CCI pest control um, number 12 shot hold on I dropped the shell so uh, let's get shooting All right, so you guys know me pretty well. I like to be doing things while I'm uh, talking, but this is the Heritage 22 LR revolver. It's made by Taurus, but it is called the Heritage Manufacturing um, Company. Taurus bought them out. It's a six shot, single action revolver, chambered in 22 caliber, and you can even get a 22 mag cylinder for this gun. Picked it up at Academy for a uh, hundred and seventy nine dollars. Um, the thing I like about revolvers or bolt action twenty twos is that you can shoot any kind of twenty two ammunition out of it. Unlike your semi automatics, sometimes they're going to be picky, even down to weight grain of the bullet. I know some twenty twos don't like bulk packs of twenty two shells, or they don't like thirty six grain bullets. Um, one thing about this though, every time I shoot it, you guys guarantee I'm going to go home, remove the cylinder, and clean it because it does get really dirty. But one thing I do like about this, and a lot of people don't like about it, is the fact that there is a safety right here. It's got a block safety, okay? Right now it is off safety, but two clicks, okay? It's got a safety. That is not going to hit the, uh, firing pin right there so you can leave six loaded in there instead of five and uh we're just gonna get to shooting right now um right now i am shooting this um remington thunderbolts i really like those and um some people really don't like those bullets because they say they foul up your barrel real well if you guys clean your gun a lot you're normally not gonna have that take some rem oil run some patches through there Take some, um, you know, fouling blaster, put it in here too. And, uh, but we're also going to test um, some CCI pest control 22 shot shells. Those things are awesome. So I'm going to bring the bullets up and show you guys what they look like and talk about them for a minute. Let me holster this thing. All right, guys. So the uh, type of 22 shells that brought me uh, Remington Thunderbolts. It is a lead 22 shell, it's not hollow pointed. Um, and these things are called Thunderbolts, high velocity, so they're really loud. This is just what I brought me today, and I have a couple thousand rounds of 22 sitting at the house, so it'll be okay. This is so cool. I bought these to carry on me out here in these woods. This has actually got number 12 shot in it. See, number 12 bird shot in a 22 cartilage. Now, Federal also makes one of these too, but it's just um, the casing's metal crimped on it. It's a little bit different. This isn't going to be like an accuracy test of what shoots out good. I shoot what I can afford. I shoot what I can find, especially right now. If they got 22s on sale, um, I normally try to buy them. So uh, let's shoot these a couple more times, and then I'll definitely be shooting these just because I want to see how they perform at close distances. So let's get back to shooting this uh, pistol, revolver, revolving pistol. All right, guys, so this has a four inch barrel on it and a safety the safety is probably my favorite feature on here if you're a traditionalist traditional revolver shooter you don't like safeties but it's safer safer 
from me. Sorry guys, I got a stuttering problem. But I'm gonna shoot this while I talk. Um, the cylinder does not fold out like a, a traditional revolver does. And when I first got this, I had to go on YouTube and learn how to take the cylinder because I wasn't exactly sure. Six shots. That's what it holds. Six shots. So I bought this thing. Oh yeah, safety's on. That's another good thing. So I bought this thing and didn't even know how to get the only safety cap off of the cylinder. But I, this gun is real easy to shoot. Click. Gun's real easy to shoot. Super affordable. $179 at Academy Sports. The only issue I had with it is I couldn't find 22 shells because of the ammo shortage, but I already had a lot of them. Um, I don't have any cons about this gun. It's like the third or fourth time I've shot it. Um, if there was any error as far as uh, accuracy, it was me. And um, if I had to recommend a first revolving pistol for somebody, this would definitely be it. But guys, I'm going to get the uh, 22LR uh, shot shell by CCI loaded up in this thing. It's made for snakes um, out in the woods. And when I'm out here just messing around, it's one thing that I want to carry on me out here in these woods. Something with a little bit of shot in there. Maybe kill a snake or two. Um, but these are what the... Uh, Remington Thunderbolts look like but I shoot everything I shoot Winchester I shoot Aguera Aguara I shoot Winchester I shoot whatever I can afford that's available at the time my semi-auto may not like it but the revolver it's not picky the bark will bite man it's all that matters the dog will bark out of this thing so let's get some uh, pest control shot loaded up in here okay and uh where is it? One's in my pocket. There it is. I'm gonna get six shots loaded up in here. Okay. After I dispense the shell casings, just like that. There's a little rod right here, okay? And you push it back, and that's what um, shoots out your empty shell casings. So, load up all this shot. You guys are definitely gonna notice a sound difference in this gun. Um, and it's probably accurate out to only about 10 yards if you're lucky. But I just bought it to have fun and they had a sale on them and I thought they were really cool looking. Get away, fly. All right. Up on the end that holds the shot. As you guys can tell, I'm not very far away from the target at all. If I'm gonna shoot a snake on the ground, you ain't gonna be more than, um, you know, that far away at all. So here we go, guys. I should have been a cowboy. Oh, dang, safety. Anyways, I always wanted to be a cowboy. Have a cowboy gun? I should have been a cowboy. I should have learned to rope and ride. Enough of that. One more shot. Maybe two. Click. All right, we're out. All right, guys. So here in a second, I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the uh, results from that shot shell but what do i really like about the rough rider 22 lr by uh by heritage firearms there's not a lot of recoil 22 shells are easy to come by in a normal day-to-day -day situation 22 shells are not expensive this gun is not expensive People have said that they've bought other revolvers that are as good as this one that cost seven to eight hundred dollars a piece just for the gun. And well, this gun is really awesome. Again, it was $179 at Academy Sports in Terre Haute. Um, but I don't have any negativities about this gun at all. It is really pretty. Okay. Now I'm gonna bring the target up here and show you guys that bird shot. And that was from right over here so let's get it let's get the target
Guys, this is actually a piece of tape. But look, man, it'll work like a snake. Just put it right here. And we're going to try to shoot my invisible snake to uh, me, my pretend snake here. Looks like it's even got a real tongue. See that? It's got a tongue right here. I don't like snakes. We'll shoot it and see how efficient it is. All right, you guys. This wasn't supposed to be an accurate test on it accuracy test on ammunition but i just want to see how this stuff works because that's what i bought it for is carrying around in the woods when I, it's not hunting season and i just want to dodge snakes or something so i've got my little tape snake down there and we're gonna pop off six shots at it and see how well it does i can tell you hit the snake wanna how i know it fell off the paper so I'm just going to finish loading these things and we'll go look at the damage. Six shots. Alright guys, so I definitely hit the head of the snake because here was the tongue right here. And look man, I did hit that snake and I would have killed it. So those things work really well. I am super impressed with that. That's what I bought them for. Um, people say you can use those things for home defense. I'd rather bring out the 12 gauge shotgun, but if I had to use my 22, then I would have to use my 22. But guys, I'm going to shoot one more round with you guys. Um, I don't have any very... Oh yeah, I can tell you the barrel lengths on this gun come in 4 inch, 6 inch, 6 and a half inch, 16 inches. I don't know why I'd put a 16 inch barrel on this thing. I've seen it done by a 22 plinkster. And uh, yeah, that is, that's crazy, man. Like, can you imagine hanging down your leg? Oh, holster, holster, okay. So this is the uh, holster I looked up, Heritage Rough Rider holster, and I got a four inch barrel, but I bought a six and a half inch, um, you know, length holster for it. The thing is, it is totally switchable. So this little clip was on this side, and I switched it around because I'm left handed, um, and it just it fits real nice. It's got a bulldog on it. I think that's the brand bulldog, and uh, I like it because it clips on your belt here. If I can get it back on now. And this fits super comfortable. Looks real nice. Um, I do like the song I Should Have Been a Cowboy. That is probably not the intro song I'm going to use because I never could find it. But growing up, man, you always want to have your little six-shooter gun. Take out the bad cowboys that are stealing all your cows and stuff or whatever. Or the Indians that were trying to hurt your family out on the prairie. But uh, Or be a Texas Ranger. My grandpa was a Texas Ranger. My grandpa, Tony, he was Force Recon in Vietnam, worked for the DEA, and was a Texas Ranger. I look up to him a lot. Maybe one of these days he'll do a shooting video with me. Um, I plan on doing a set of videos. I'm going to bring out my 22 semi semi-automatic rifle by Savage the next video, and my dad's um, Remington Scoremaster 22 bolt action, which was my grandpa's. Hopefully it'll be mine. I'll bring that out too, and we'll do an ammo test. I know bolt actions will shoot anything. 22 shorts, 22 long, and 22 long rifle, just like this pistol will. Semi-automatics will not. They are very temperamental. You can only shoot 22 LR and a 22 LR semi-automatic rifle. But I would like to thank you guys for joining me here on uh, GG Outdoors and the uh, Heritage 22 LR revolver review. Um, and now that I'm done with the air guns, I think I'm going to jump into real guns. I'm going to bring my 20 gauge back out and do a video on that, like an actual review on it. I have a Remington A70 Express Magnum 20 gauge. And uh, we're just going to have some fun here when the weather starts getting nice. I plan on going back and doing some uh, fishing videos at some point, but I've just been kind of kicking it for a while. So remember, y'all, Jesus loves you. Don't steal all the toilet paper. Hit the notification bell, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And remember, y'all, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for joining me on DG Outdoors. Yeah, so here's the last six shots. I cannot talk today. Safety off. And I have to go to the bathroom, so we're going to make this thing click. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to promise you guys something. I almost forgot to do it because I was just thinking in my head. So here we go. Alright guys, the bugs are getting to me. 
again, remember, Jesus loves you, and I'd like to thank you guys for joining me on this edition and review of DG Outdoors.